There is a lot of tools to customize the table in Google Docs, and this time we touch on the table alignment on the page and the alignment of a text in it. And it works with images as well, with basically all types of content inside of the table. Let me quickly create a table first. I'll go to the insert on the toolbar, down to the second line table and set in its size to be 4x4 four four cells and click it on the last selected cell. And here is my table. Ok, so initially the table is aligned rather to the left on the page. That's especially noticeable when you change its size. Like when you decrease the width of the columns or modify page settings. Then you want to make it look better and put it in the center. And to do that, click with the left mouse button on any cell in your table. Then in the context menu, locate and press on the table properties. And once the sidebar on the right shows up, click on the alignment. Here you need this second line table alignment. Press on the drop down and select center. There you go. Now concerning aligning data in the table. By default, when you enter something into the cell, it is aligned to the left like this. And vertically, the text is always put on top. You can see there's a lot of empty space below the text. And we want to center the data both horizontally and vertically in the cell. For a horizontal alignment, we use our common text alignment tool on the toolbar. So you select a single or multiple cells and then go to this item on the toolbar and click on it. And here it is put in the middle horizontally. For a vertical alignment, select the cells. Click on any selected cell with a left mouse button and choose Table Properties one more time. It's the same alignment bar in the sidebar, but this time we open the drop-down below the cell vertical alignment line and choose in middle. Here we go, a perfectly aligned text both horizontally and vertically. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on thegoodax.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.